Welcome to the Pencil Tin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to color plants and pots from Creative Haven's Wish You Were Here coloring book using Castle Arts pencil crayons. I'm going to start by coloring the first pot with ivory black using light pencil pressure. Next, I'm going to add another layer to the side of the pot using medium pencil pressure. I'll repeat this step on the other side. Next, I'll add another layer under the rim of the pot using light pencil pressure. Then I'll add another layer to the shady side of the pot and the bottom using light pencil pressure. Next, I'm adding a layer of light pencil pressure to the top of the pot. Next, I'll add a little more. Then I'll color over the highlight with Payne's Gray using light pencil pressure. I'm coloring the next pot with Payne's Gray using light pencil pressure. Next, I'm going to press a little harder and add another layer using medium pencil pressure to the shady sides of the pot. I'm going to color the last pot with burnt umber using light pencil pressure. Next, I'll add a layer of medium pencil pressure to the shady sides of the pot. Okay, now I'm going to color over the highlight with Payne's Gray using light pencil pressure. I'm going to color the leaves of the first plant with leaf green light using medium pencil pressure. Next, I'm going to add layers of Hooker's Green using light pencil pressure. I'm going to color the leaf shapes of the next plant with leaf green light. I'm using medium pencil pressure for this layer. Next, I'm going to color the entire plant with sap green using light pencil pressure. Next, I'm going to press a little harder and add a layer with medium pencil pressure to the areas around the leaf shapes. I'll also add a layer with light pencil pressure to the bottom of the leaf shapes.
Okay, now I'm adding another layer of leaf green light using light pencil pressure to blend everything together. Next, I'm adding a layer of hooker's green using very light pencil pressure to the shady parts of the plant. I'm going to finish the plant by coloring the stems with raw umber. I'm using light pencil pressure for this layer. Next I'll add another layer at the top and bottom using medium pencil pressure. Next I'm going to color the bush behind the plant with permanent green using medium pencil pressure. Next, I'm adding another layer of medium pencil pressure to the bottom. Okay, I'm adding a layer of leaf green light to the top. Then I'm adding a layer of hooker's green to the shady spots using light pencil pressure. I'll also add a layer of Payne's gray to the shady spots using light pencil pressure. Okay, now I'm going to color the flowers with golden yellow using light pencil pressure. Then I'll color around the flowers with leaf green. Next, I'm adding a layer of yellow ochre to the center of each flower using medium pencil pressure. Then I'll add a layer of terracotta light to the shadiest spots using light pencil pressure. I'm adding a layer of raw umber to the center of each flower using medium pencil pressure. Okay, now I'm going to add a layer of permanent green using light pencil pressure to the shady spots around each flower. Then I'm adding a little bit of hooker's green to the shady spots. I'm using light pencil pressure for this layer. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.